What's up guys, I'm back with another vlog. Today's vlog is all about adventure. You might be wondering what adventure I'm talking about. Now, adventure means about adventure product. A product that can be used on an adventure, especially when you're touring on your bike. So there are many products in the market readily available for you and for me. Now, in order to purchase these products, you can buy it online or else walk into a store and get it purchased. Now, most of the people prefer going to the shop, checking the product and then buying it because there are many numerous amount of products in the market. Now, it's better to check the product properly, understand it and then if you think it is suitable for your trip, definitely you can buy it. Now, the reason why I said this because there are two products that I have purchased from this brand. One of them is not meant for the KTM 390 adventure that I have. It is for the X-Pulse, Hero X-Pulse or the BMW GS310. However, I was able to get it installed on my bike very easily with some research and development, basically R&D stuff. Now I'll show you what exactly I did in order to get this thing on my bike and make my life more easier. Let's quickly have a look on the product that I have purchased from the store and you can definitely go and buy it because it is not that expensive. Honestly, it is one of the best products in the market as of right now with the looks and the way it has been crafted. Just check it out. Okay, so you saw the product. Doesn't it look good? Okay, let me show it to you. So this is an aluminum plate for the Hero X Pulse and the BMW 310 GS. Now, I got this mounted on my bike very easily with some R&D as I mentioned earlier. Now, the reason why I bought this is because the way it has been designed and made, it's, it's lighter and it's really cool looking. Now, honestly, it doesn't go with the bike that I have, the, three, uh, the 390 Adventure. And uh, the company has not made any product for the 390 Adventure any aluminum plate for, like this however i went with this because it is lighter and uh, the weight is around uh, 400 grams probably or maybe less than that um, i do have a steel uh, top top plate uh, honestly uh, I like this kind of a design but bigger in size and this small piece weighs approximately maybe a kilo or something like that just imagine this weighs a kilo what about the bigger one with some additional attachment to make it more stable so <clears throat> I'll show you how I'll get this thing mounted on my bike with the help of this plate and the brand Viatera the product Viatera provides you with these 
uh, things. One is an Allen key, four spacers, and some bolts with uh, other washers and everything with nuts and bolts. However, I did not get a chance to use any of them. Reason being, as I mentioned earlier, R&D stuff, using this and this with another thing that is the Hero X-Pulse light mounts. These are the fog lamp mounts that has been designed by some uh, company. Uh, I forgot the name of the brand, but I use this as a kind of a washer kind of thing that can be placed. I'll show you how this can be installed on the bike very easily and uh, with the bolts, spacers and washers. These are the stock products that comes on the KTM 390 Adventure. I got this product installed on the bike less than five minutes. It didn't take me that long. So this is one product from Viaterra, a very cool product. They also make uh, steel products. The cost of this product is around uh, 3000 rupees uh, to triple nine. And the steel one will cost you around uh, 2500, something like that, a little lesser, but you're going to compromise with the weight. The weight on that particular product is it's heavy it's good it's sturdy it's strong and uh, it does the job how exactly the aluminum plate does and honestly the the, the way it has been uh, made the CNC cuts the design everything it's it's really good however as I mentioned you are compromising with the weight so why not spend some extra money and buy the aluminum blade which will actually make your life a little bit easier all right uh, everything is in place the bike is ready the top plate from Viaterra the steel plate the washers the spacers the bolts and the expulse mounting uh, clamp for for the fog light is here so I'll quickly get started first thing first uh, getting the rear seat removed <coughs> That's done. Keep it over here. Okay. Now, we'll take the big washers, place it over here, one over here. Keep the spaces over here. Now, these spaces are from uh, the Duke 390, uh, where you get it on the caliper. Uh, the front caliper, the brake caliper. That's how you uh, can use these kind of spaces or you can use the same spaces provided by Viaterra. Now, as you can see, the spaces and uh, the washers have been placed. Now, we need to place this plate over here. Okay, just keep it for now, like this. Just to keep it in place. Not using my paddock right now. now this one goes like this. So as I mentioned, the R&D stuff, this being used as a spacer, come washer kind of thing. Now see how I place this. It's placed here. And then it goes over there. And then goes through the washer and the spacer as well and just just tighten the screw same process for the other one as well I know it's little bit tedious a little bit of patience and the work can be done okay 
done. No. I'll just tighten the screw a little bit so that it's in the slot. See? All done. Now, remember one thing. You can... Uh, you cannot keep this like this because of the seat. It will not go through. So, there's a V cut over here. You can change directions. Keep this in the center. And just make sure you push it behind. Same way like this. Keep it like this. I will take the Allen key. This is number nine. Sorry, number six. And start tightening the bolts slowly. Okay. Same process over here. There we go. Everything is in place. Dirty. Perfect. So, this is how you mount the Viatera stop plate on the 390 Adventure. With the help of some R&D stuff and with some goodies from Xbox. So, now I'll quickly mount the uh, Viatera back and we'll show you how it looks on the 390 Adventure. So always remember your handle is straight, your side stand is on and get your bike on paddock. Make sure the side stand is always on just for the safety purpose. Alright, there we go. Alright, the luggage is here from Viatera, the 40 liters dry backpack. Basically dry bag, not a backpack, but you can definitely convert this to a backpack with the help of... Uh, these two uh, straps basically you can uh, get them hooked over here and a single sided uh, sling to get this converted as your normal carrying backpack on your shoulder when you're carrying less luggage inside so this is a 40 liters uh, dry bag from uh, Viatera now these are the hooks that will be hooked up over here on any of these holes. Now the reason why this uh, Viatera top plate is designed like this so that it will be convenient for any user to hook up these hooks wherever they want to according to their suitability. So I'll quickly get them hooked without wasting any time. You can see. quick and simple easy step hardly take uh, five or ten minutes max not exactly ten minutes but five minutes for sure place the last two on the uh, either side That's it, done. Four of them placed. Now I'll place the bag. Make sure this black thing is facing towards the rider. All done. So take one of the hooks, make it go through this sleeve over here. You need to do the same thing for other four as well. I'll tell you why this is being done. This is basically for uh, safety as well as, sorry, uh, making the bag more secure and firm. Okay, now these two are the important things. These are stretchable and they go over here. This is how it is hooked.
Now, as I mentioned, it's stretchable. So you need to pull this, this one. And just to be more secure enough, get it through the hooks over there. Okay. Fasten this thing uh, to make it sturdy and firm. Okay. Okay. Same process over here. So this is how you hook up the dry bag from Viterra. So Viterra provides uh, two kinds of bag. One is a 40 liter and the other one is a 55 liter. Uh, I'm really sorry about the noise uh, since I'm shooting a video outside. So please excuse me for that. Now uh, this is definitely 100% waterproof and you get uh, a quick and easy access uh, zipper over here where you can keep your uh, documents or anything, a license or anything as such over here. Uh, the same zip style is being provided over here. Uh, and honestly speaking, one of the best bags. Now you might be wondering what exactly this is. This is uh, actually to remove the air, the extra air. As soon as you pack your luggage inside the bag, you need to remove the excess air to give you enough room and to make this compact. So you just have to unscrew this remove this basically uh, just unscrew it you can't remove it and start pressing you can hear the vent and start tightening it again and you get enough room for your luggage so all set it has a really firm grip with the hooks that's been provided by Viterra and uh, with uh, extra bungee cord you will give more space and uh, more and make the luggage more secure so this is really good they also have given some reflectors over here uh, to make it uh, visible when you're uh, riding your bike during the night and uh, apart from that i don't think so i've missed uh, the space inside this bag is really huge enough 40 liters is really good so you can pack up your luggage on this for at least uh, for a week and hit the road so all right the bag is hooked up and it's in place you saw how it, the installation is done it's very easy quick and easy for anyone to install it uh, five to ten minutes of job and uh, also uh, if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel do share your comments and if you have anything to ask please do ask me and i'll be seeing you on the other side